Okay, Puneet. <clears throat> I think it's important to understand what it is we are trying to do precisely. Yeah, so you, you've got most of it right except for one idea that needs to be corrected. So here we are. What we're trying to do is really find the proportion of molecules in a given collection, yeah, using in the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. What proportion of molecules has a velocity that lies between C, C0 and C0 plus DC? Okay, so if you had only one dimension of motion, then you'd have the velocity on the x axis that's given by let's call it C. Alright, so this is C in this direction. And this is the probability density, okay, Fc, okay. So, <clears throat> if you wanted to find in one dimension, therefore, the number of the proportion of molecules that had a velocity of between C0 and C0 plus dc, and this difference is dc, then that's going to be the area in this the red shaded area, okay. And therefore, this probability is going to be nothing but f of c which is the height of the rectangle times dc which is the width of the rectangle okay or rather f of c zero okay times dc this is the probability in one dimension what happens in two dimensions in two dimensions you have two components and therefore there are many ways of combining those two components such that the resultant velocity that you want equals c zero right and that's really what we want so c zero squared must equal vx squared plus vy squared. This is the condition. Now, take this point, okay? So, any point on this circle of radius c will have components vx and vy that meet this required condition. So, take for example this point, yeah? This is vx, this is vy. And it's clear from Pythagoras theorem that vx squared plus vy squared must equal c, which is the radius of the inner circle, okay? So therefore, in two dimensions, the probability would be some factor b, which is the number of ways of combining vx and vy to get a velocity of c0, times f of, which is the probability of getting a velocity vx that's needed, times the probability of velocity vy that's needed. Now, what is this factor b? This factor b is nothing but this area. Yeah, because anything within this area would have components x, vx and vy such that vx squared plus vy squared was equal to c0 squared or rather c0 plus dc. Yeah, uh, that's really what it would be. So this factor b really would be this pink shaded area and therefore we could write b as equal to um, essentially we open it up yeah, and treat it as a rectangle. As, uh, and therefore, we could treat it as the a, one side of the rectangle is the perimeter, which is, I'm sorry, 2 pi r, which is 2 pi c0, times dc, all right? So that's your factor b. Now, when you come to three dimensions, obviously, this will no longer remain an area. It will become a volume because there are three dimensions, vx, vy, vz. So it's essentially this factor B, okay, in this case becomes what? It becomes equal to the volume of a shell, okay, a, a, a three-dimensional shell which has an inner radius of C0, okay, so volume of a shell with inner radius of C0 and an outer radius of C0 plus DC. Now this is going... Now, if you flatten out that shell, yeah, make it a flat thing, like for example, in this case, in the two-dimensional case, we took this thing, we cut it and we basically made it into a long rectangle, right? That's what we did, such that its width was 2 pi r or 2 pi c0 and the height was dc. This is what we did, right? In this case, we make it a three-dimensional if it were possible to flatten it out as a kind of three-dimensional volume, yeah? Just, I'm, I'm just explaining the idea. So essentially, the volume of the sphere would be equal to the surface area, which is this thing on top, yeah? Times the height, okay? Again, the height would be dc, but the surface area would be the inner surface area of a sphere of radius c0, which would be 
4 this surface area a would be given by 4 pi c 0 square right and therefore the factor b would be a combination of this would be the volume of the shell which would be 4 pi c 0 square which is the volume of uh, I'm sorry, which is the surface area of the sphere of radius C0 times DC, which is the width of the shell itself, okay? And then obviously the probability distribution, therefore, or the probability would be the number of ways that you could combine, which is the factor B, 4 pi C0 squared DC into F of Vx into F of Vy into F of Vz, okay? Because there are three components now. So, the mistake that you've made is assuming that B would be an area, actually it would be a volume. That's really the only difference that you, the only major difference from what you've suggested. I hope the point's clear. If it's not, let me know.